so the next stock that we're breaking down for this morning is Zomitica or ticker symbol ZOM. I have my lines and graphs already set. So we're starting from a higher time frame, that being the daily interval. This allows us to find the overall direction and trend that our stock is in, helps us find our support and resistance lines, our targets, our exits, and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and dive in, you guys. So we're down nearly 1.4% uh, for the morning. Let's have a look at the volume. We're at 10.42 million, so we're definitely above the 150,000 threshold that we like to see, you guys. Um, and now let's look at our support and, resist, uh, support and resistance lines, and then we'll get into more in depth where we're at currently, okay? Let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so you can see back here, we tested our resistance as well. This is our high, this line represents our highest level of resistance tested. You can see we tested it back here. We gapped up. What used to work as resistance will work as support on the opposite side. So basically you have a roof and a floor. Uh, you can see that we came up, came back down, retested this floor. Uh, we broke underneath and basically started chopping around right in between the support and resistance line for a while until we finally broke underneath you guys and uh, ultimately failed and never came back up for a breakout. And we just started this downward trend all the way down to our lowest level of support tested, okay? And if we look left, like Beyonce says, we can see that we bounced in this area, bounced in this area, bounced in this area, and bounced in this area. So these are heavily, heavily tested areas, you guys, and we have to respect these lines, okay? So now let's get into where we're at currently. Let me go ahead and zoom in over here. All right. So this line, you guys, you can see that we are underneath the support line. So it's gonna work as resistance. So if this does come back up, it's gonna have to create a breakout or at least uh, retest this resistance area. And we wanna see this to come up and come back down and retest this as a support. And what this will do is it'll show that buyers are stepping up and basically create this reversal and this higher low that we wanna see, okay? Because um, as of right now, we are in this downward trend. We have this higher low, higher low, and we are now underneath the resistance line. Um, so, and even on the on the RSI, it does look like we are a little bit oversold, but we're not quite there yet. Um, and like I said, with the trend line, we are below that as well. So, uh, on top of that, you guys, if we break back below anywhere below the 68 cent, we are going to be in a danger zone, a really really bad danger zone. Okay. So if we break back below the 68 cent, you can see, let me zoom in a little bit, where we're at currently, if you look left, we've tested this area as well, and back here. So if we break below that, there's nothing but this void area. So this is able to just be able to pull back aggressively, almost probably in a parabolic move, and we'll end up back down to our next level of support, which we can look at if we zoomed out even further. You have the bigger picture now, the more that we zoom out. And our next level of support, you guys, from 68 cents, if we do break back below that area, we'll be back at the 34 cent area, okay? And I know if you are invested in this stock right now, that doesn't sound great. And this hasn't happened yet, so don't don't freak out just yet, you guys. But um, it's not really a good sign that we are on this downward trend below our major support line and are retesting this lower level as well. So we have to be really, really cautious I don't really think it's a good idea to get into this stock just yet until we see a reversal or until at least buyers are stepping back up, okay? But other than that, I hope this video helped in any type of way, you guys. I try to create this content Monday through Friday or every other day. Uh, so if this helped, like I said, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I really, really, it does really mean a lot to me, you guys. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.